By the time Rohit Vishwa shot this video with his cell phone, there was little he could do but alert others. When I came running here, it was going far was going on, and I called the, the 911. Vishwa says he helped a woman in a wheelchair get away from the flames. The same goes for Sherrod Smith, who lives in one of the half dozen townhouses damaged by smoke or water or a combination of the two. I didn't care about the flames at first. I was just trying to make sure everybody could get out. It wasn't until after he tried helping others that Smith finally saw and heard how dangerous the fire had become. It was just like a big bang. Everybody was like, you know, scared. The fire started raging when flames breached ceilings and reached the attic. Once the fire gets up in an attic, it's like a open lumber yard up there. You've got uh, fire that could possibly be helped to spread by wind. Uh, a lot of lumber up there, just a lot of open space, which contributes to the rapid spread of fire. Kevin Willis noticed the flames when he was trying to apply for a nearby apartment. Flames were pouring up out of the house, pouring up real bad. Like everyone else who watched the fire grow in size before firefighters brought it under control, Willis is grateful no one was seriously injured. Everybody got out safe. Yeah. Well, that's what matters most. That's what matters the most. Sir. No official word yet as to how today's fire started, though it's believed to have been accidental. Eight families have been displaced. I did speak briefly with a woman who lives in the townhome uh, where the fire got started. She raced home from work after hearing the news and was understandably very distraught. Reporting live tonight in Coleraine Township, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right, Todd, thanks.